Hey guys, how many of you have ever attempted a plumbing project at home only to wish you knew a little bit more about what the heck you were doing? Well, if that's the case, you're in luck because that's exactly what we're going to cover next on this week's bonus session of Manly Moments. <laughs> While my house is well equipped with faucets, pipes, and toilets, if I'm honest, I don't know the first thing about plumbing. Fortunately, I know someone who does. It's my good friend and master plumber, Pierre Goldbeck. How's it going, Pierre? Hi, Robbie. That's going great. <laughs> Pierre is not only a master plumber, but he's also an expert in heating and air conditioning. But first things first, what's with the funky name Pierre? I mean, looks like Purr, sounds like Pierre. Do you have a bedwetting problem? He's a real peer. <laughs> What's the story here? Yeah, I've heard it all. Take a long walk, walk off a short pier. Uh, we got a lot of jokes about my name, but actually it's a, simply a Scandinavian form of Peter. It's that simple. Pure the Piper. Pure the Piper. Well, tell us, a little bit about, tell us a little bit about your history with plumbing. Sure. I, uh, I got involved in plumbing several years ago, actually probably 30-some years ago. Apprenticing as a plumber, and so I got my journeyman's license as well as my master's. And I've been using my master's license here at uh, Horman's Heating for a number of years. Wow. Nobody ever thinks about the plumber until they need you, and when they need you, they need you now, don't they? Oh yeah, we get a lot of calls, and there's a lot of need for plumbing, but there's a lot that the average guy can take care of himself, and hopefully we can help you with that. Yeah, it's my hope that today you'll share with us a few simple solutions to the most common plumbing problems that the average guy should be able to fix on his own. Are you willing to do that? Oh, absolutely. Let's take the plunge. Today, we're going to try to repair a drippy faucet in the bathroom. Most people don't realize that one drip every second can really waste a lot of money. Water just goes right down the drain and so does your dollars. The first thing you got to do is you have to make sure you turn the water off. And you check again, as long as there's no water dripping, you're safe. But everybody should have a screwdriver, a set of channel locks, and then a good crescent wrench. You need to have some Allen wrenches. I prefer what they call a T-handle and that's what I'm going to use to take this off. You need to get your channel locks. And then you sometimes have to pull this cartridge out. Now if you look down inside there, there is a little cup washer that actually has come loose since I pulled it up. So this is considered a washerless faucet. But the truth is there really are washers there. They're just called cup washers, okay? And they're these little tiny rubber pieces and this wears out rubbing against that, that round ball. And that's what you need to replace. The little spring here has to go in just like this. The small part of the spring faces the top. And so you would replace this, you would get a whole nother set of cup washer and springs. It's that simple. Then the last thing you want to do is you want to put the ball back in. So you just put that down in there and it should rotate freely, okay, because it's in that slot. Then, and so you should be able to push this down with a little spring tension like that. Last thing you do is you put this down I try to hold the ball down with my finger like this, and then you re-thread it. Try not to cross-thread it, and be very careful and patient. You should be able to turn it three or four turns without using a wrench. And you just want to snug it up. You don't have to wrench really tight on it like with a four-foot pipe wrench. You just need to snug it up so it doesn't leak. Then you put this guy back on, tighten that up, just a little snug, and we're done. So now we go back down, we open up our valves. That's all you need, a leaky faucet is fixed. Another common problem that most of us have to face is the leaky toilet. Well, it's probably that little flush valve inside the toilet that's not working right. And we're gonna show you how to change it. It's really simple. First, you take the lid off, then you shut your valve off, then you go ahead and flush it. So here's the first thing, there's a little hook. This is your trip lever. You take this little hook off, just unhook it from there. And then these are usually made of very, very good rubber or even silicone. And these just peel right off. And see, that's it. That's what it looks like. That's the culprit. This guy has definitely seen some wear and tear. And this is the surface where it seals. And if it gets distorted like this, it's gonna run. So you're gonna wanna replace this with a new one. So basically, you put it in the same way you took it out. So you get it down here and as flexible as it is, you just squeeze it and push it onto that little axis there. There's like a little axle on either side and you make sure the chain doesn't get swallowed up down the hole and then you take the chain with that little hook on there and you just hook it on to your trip lever. It's that easy. It's done. See? Ready to go. So you can turn the water back on. Another problem we face. Another common problem we 
we all face is the clogged drain. Well, there is a solution to that, and it's a $2 fix called Zip It. All you gotta do is take in your drain, this is a typical bathtub drain. Here's a clean out, here's the drain. And if you have a screen, you have to remove that little screen, but even the screen doesn't keep the hair from getting clogged in the drain. And all you do is take the Zip It strip, it's a flexible piece of plastic with barbs, and you just wanna maneuver it down into that cavity, and it goes all the way down here, and then it goes down into the trap, and it pulls all that hair up. I have pulled as long as a four foot slug of hair out of my drain with the zipper. This little two dollar tool has saved me countless times when the bathtub wants to overflow. It's easy, it's cheap, and you can do it. Another problem solved. Well, there you have it. Pierre Piper passed a peck of poopy pipe greens. <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> what can I say, Pierre? You really are number one in the number two business. Oh, man, that was bad. Nothing you couldn't do, though, Robbie. You really need to give it a shot. You know, we've got a clogged commode just down in stall number two. How about it? Uh, I'm not quite ready for that. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a germaphobe with this stuff. Uh, you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty, man. All right, but as long as you're willing to do the closing comments, I'll give it a shot. No problem. Let's uh, let's go this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not quite quite ready yet. Let me. What? Let me just... All right, let's go. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you got a question for me, leave it in the comments below. I'll gladly answer it. And we'll see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments. Oh, don't like.